There was a lot of people in my section that were kind of like screaming and having panic attacks um, just because it felt almost as if you were under an elevator and the elevator was coming down on you and there was nothing you could do about it. Um, no one in my section at the time was moving because I think everyone was just in shock of how crazy um, and how panicked that everyone was. Um, there was a lot of fear in people's eyes, you can see. So my panic started to set in on top of the crushing feeling because I'm, I'm smaller. So I'm at the level where people are pushing like this into my chest so that I can feel the air like leaving my body. I could not like take a deep enough breath in. I still like fully can't catch a full breath because I have so like my chest is in so much pain from people pushing and like crushing, literally crushing um, my chest in and my lungs. Most people, you couldn't tell if you were stepping on bodies or if you were stepping on the ground. Like there was almost no way to tell, to be honest with you. And our barricade even started to break yeah, and the security to had to come over to us and like start strapping the rails. And they were even like holding it like the whole concert because it, the metal had literally started to break. And there just wasn't enough security telling people to like, you know, push like push move back because we were literally just like up against the rails and could like barely breathe. As soon as he jumped out, and I myself, I couldn't even see him because people were jumping around so much in front of me. But my friend happened to get it recorded. As soon as he jumped out and onto the stage, it was like an energy took over and everything went haywire. All of a sudden, your ribs are being crushed. You have someone's arm in your, like in your neck. You're trying to breathe, but you can't. Like I literally almost passed out. I lost all my friends. We as a group of like five of us, we all got split up. And you you just hear people around you screaming. That's it. It's just a lot. It was a, there were a lot of women in my area. I'm 5'4. They had to be like 5'2 next to huge men screaming for help. Like literally screaming. You actually see like the paramedics, like the car trying to drive through the crowd. And so he stopped the song like shortly after. Like He's like, oh, what's going on over there? He noticed like some people were like passed out. Um, he grabs everyone's attention by saying like, oh, put one middle finger up in the sky. Da -da -da. Like it gets quiet. But then like right after that, he just continues to play. And then literally you see like the car just can't move because everyone just starts jumping. You see people climbing on top of the car. And meanwhile, you have someone holding like, it's like a like an American Red Cross, like the flag, like, hey, we need help here. And like they can't get nowhere because he just kept performing. It wasn't till nine o'clock where everything just took a turn for the left. Uh, once Travis came out, that's really where everything just went downhill. You know, once the show starts, everybody pushes up or mosh pits open up. You know, all the pushing, it gets very heated, very hot. You can't breathe, you know, and if, if you have no water and you're dehydrated, you're very quick to pass out. So there were a couple people who did and, you know, we're trying to get help for them, you know, couple times we were getting ignored, you know, there wasn't much being done by security to help a lot of people out. Whether, whether they're passed out or not, you know, whether, you know, they're fully conscious and, you know, they're trying to make their way out or whether they're passed out, we're trying to do anything that we can to get them any space to try and make their way out of the crowd or to the front. Of the, if they're passed out, we're trying to get them to the front so the security knows that they need medical. But it, people passing out at festivals is very common. Um, especially in, in the crowd, being in mosh pits. So it's something I'm used to, trying to help people out. But this has by far been the worst I've ever seen.